See that frog sitting there in the ditch? And look, there's a crawfish. See that crawfish, crayfish, whatever y'all want to call it, in the ditch? This is right here at my, right here at my house. Me and Brindley see this stuff every day when we walk. Isn't that cool? Bullfrog. Oh, look, there's another little, little crawfish over there. There's a little one, and there's a bigger one over there. There's probably some more if I looked real close. Little bullfrog. He needs to grow bigger. He'd be good in the skillet. They don't ever get big enough to eat around here. Snakes get them before I do. There was one a few years back down on the creek and I watched him, watched him for a couple of years and he just disappeared. Y'all frogs, frogs, bullfrogs are good eating. Oh, look, Brinley, Brinley. <laughs> Brinley's making it go crazy. He said, man, let me bury up in the dirt where you can't see me. He said, I'm hiding, you can't see me. He said, I'm hiding. Now he scared all the crawfish away. Well, Brinley's got me tangled up. Divas. I don't know if you can see those people walking. That's Diva's parents. And Brinley's been playing with Diva. Pretty cool, pretty cool. There was a big old, oh, there's the crawfish back over here. See it right there? If my nephew was here, he'd be in this water picking them up. I don't see any more. There's some more frogs up the road. I'll try to go, I'll try to go video those. We came out last night very late because of me doing all the yard work. Oh, well, just let me show y'all how good my yard looks. You'd never know there was ever a problem, would you? Except I lost uh, about four foot of my creek bank in one spot. Of course, where my most beautiful flower bed was. So... But I think all these plants are going to recover. But, uh, yeah, remember I've been showing y'all this? Couldn't wait to show y'all how pretty it was. Look at that. It just, just fell off. There's my banana trees down there in the creek bottom. But I'm going to leave them. And maybe the roots will help hold that soil. And maybe some more sand will wash up. And this will build back up. I've seen it do that before. But yeah, I lost everything back to uh, these poles. And it pushed these poles back up in my yard is the only reason why I didn't lose them. But these these uh, daisies were totally under dirt. And uh, I propped them up and washed them off. And actually have one blooming today. It's not real pretty because it's kind of kind of got beat up. But... Anyway, at least, at least they're all popping back up because everything on this row was covered in debris. Everything over here was covered with, um, let me show you, was covered with that kind of stuff and more, like all this stuff down here, like that. I had a pile of that over here and y'all I thought I made a video of this and either I thought I made a video and I didn't or I deleted it I don't know what happened in all the confusion but y'all see how oh that's probably a good four or five foot from the ground to that squirrel feeder that bicycle was totally covered with that debris up to the bottom of that squirrel feeder and it was all the way over to this cedar tree and on top of that potato bed. 
and I don't know if y'all can see or not, but see the crooking, the crookedness of the line, how the front left corner comes out. It didn't move anything. It just pushed this whole front end over to the left. Isn't that amazing? It probably pushed it over a good four inches and uh, washed some of my soil out, but that's why there's debris in there because it flooded over. It flooded over it. And y'all look, okay. Almost to my knee where I'm standing right here. It covered the bottom of that swing, the water, and it covered the end of that flower bed and it went up past that silver chair all the way to the fence, all the way down. All this ground was debris. But two hard days of work and I've got it, got my grass cleaned up. Y'all, I've never raked. The driveway was covered in sand. I've spent hours with the pressure of the water hose. But we've got it done. We're gonna go up the road and look for some more frogs. My Peruvian lilies are starting to bloom. The, the water beat this one up. It should be standing up real straight, but Aren't they pretty? Maybe some more will bloom, some better ones, and I can show y'all. He's so silly. The frog's watching. You gonna get that frog, Brindley? You gonna get that frog? Y'all, she sees some crawfish moving around. <laughs> One of them gonna pinch her. Gonna pinch her and then we gonna have a problem. She's so hot, y'all, it is hot. Yep, we're fixing to go in and get a shower and get in the air condition and get some cool tea. Yeah, Mama's been cleaning in the yard. Let me show y'all from this from this other angle, so y'all can see how much land I lost. All this mud on the bridge from the flooding. Y'all can see better from this angle. Everything on the right side of those red cannons. Uh, that used to be a flower bed. See all my banana trees down there in the bottom? I'm just gonna leave them, y'all, and see if they... There's my big giant elephant ears that'll be taller and bigger. That When they get big, they'll cover the is up from the road. So, creek still up pretty good, but I do have my yard looking, looking much better. I'm just thankful it didn't get my sister's house and she cleaned her yard up and oh, that's all we've done is clean, clean, clean. Y'all, that's hard work. Especially on the old woman's body, I'm just gonna tell y'all. John, look at those, look at those elephant ears coming up right there. I have two different kinds of those. The other ones have not come up yet. I hope they come up. I still have a lot of plants that hadn't come up yet. All this was underwater. Let's see, it's all popped back up. See all that debris? That's what I've been cleaning. That's what I've been cleaning off my grass, and that was what was piled up on top of my uh, all my plants. All my plants was covered with that stuff. 
Here's a pretty day lily, and there's my uh, shrimp plant peeking out back there. And uh, there's a little. It didn't. It didn't get squashed. Hydrangea that I planted last year. It's coming out right there. So all these just have to have to recover, but look at that. Look at that grass, how pretty I got it looking. Y'all, I found a picture came up in memory from last year. I'm gonna post it. Look at this grass now. When I post that other one, y'all will see there was no grass over here. It's amazing how quickly this St. August came. It was just a few sprigs from when I lived here before. And I just fertilized and watered it, and uh, it's come back out. And my apple trees, remember the limbs, the le limbs that I didn't think were going to put out? But I wouldn't break them off because I thought they were alive. Look, they're finally. I, I don't know, y'all. It's been a strange year for me. A lot of stuff that people are posting are blooming and looks, you know, very big and pretty. All mine is kind of behind. There's another hydrangea that I got uncovered. All these flower pots, I don't even know how they're here because they were covered in water. I guess the weight of them. Y'all, there's some of that debris that I didn't clean off of that. Look at that. That's what I've been cleaning off of my whole yard. Plus a million like big giant sticks. But John, and here's my upright purple vein elephant ear. It gets really, really, really big. Isn't that beautiful? The purple veins are finally coming in it. I've been showing y'all that quite quite often. But those veins get real purple and that tip goes up in the air. Y'all, this hosta has got to be two foot wide. And the leaves are bigger than my hand. And this is only the second year they've been here. Those things are supposed to get huge and I think they're going to. I have several, several of those in here. And some back over in the back. My blue hostas are doing really good. They looked really bad there for a while, but they're living. That Texas star should be blooming soon. The angel trumpets are doing good. But uh, to show y'all how my, how my yard looks since I cleaned it up, makes me, makes me feel a little bit better. I'm, I think most of my plants will make it. I did lose some, but oh well, we can't have it all. I'm just happy this whole flower bed didn't wash away because I had just put all this dirt, all this dirt in here. Oh, that would have been terrible, but I would have lived. I would have managed. That angel trumpet's doing great. See all the new growth in the buds? coming on the, on the uh, roses that Felipe gave me. You know, I just set those out a couple of weeks ago and see all that new growth. Everything's looking good. And this is one of my angel trumpets and it should get huge. I don't have any idea of what color it is. And this is Confederate Rose. Y'all, I had to stop and think, but anyway, this is my yard all cleaned up. All is well. Sisters at work. Life is good. Y'all be blessed. And uh, we'll see y'all in the next video.
crepe myrtles are looking good. Sunflowers are looking good. That's a hibiscus, white hibiscus. Y'all look at that beauty today. I told y'all it's like Christmas every morning. You gotta come out and see what's in your in your stocking. Sorry y'all, Brinley's pulling me. I came out to walk her and saw this and had to stop and get a picture real quick before the rain comes and beats it up. Isn't that beautiful? Wanda, if you're watching this, tell me what the name of that one is. That's one of the ones that you give me, I'm pretty sure. And for those of you that don't know, Vonda is my baby sister, not my sister that lives next door. She's younger than that sister. And she shared several of her bulbs with me a couple of years ago and then I moved last year so I wasn't sure which ones I was going to have that survive but I do have another one that's fixing to bloom but I don't know what color it is but I'll get back with y'all when it blooms y'all look it's honeysuckle oh it smells good too I remember pulling them and licking that out of the middle of that when I was a kid y'all it's a wonder we didn't die Maybe why I live so long, because I eat it. Isn't that cool? I just had to show y'all. <clears throat> y'all, I uh, had some pieces with no roots of a uh, pasta. And I've done this before. This has probably been in this jar of water two or three weeks. And y'all can see it's rooting and there's roots well hang on there it is see the roots coming out on that piece that little little knobby thing right there that's a root so they will root uh, I was trying to dig a piece up to move which I did get some with root and did get them moved but these pieces came out of the ground and had no root. So I put them out here on the porch on the shelf. So they will root, y'all. Let me see if I can get this out of here. Show y'all a little better. So there was no roots. So when I set it out, I'll cut all the bad leaves off, but Look, it's growing new leaves right there. It's just in the water. So I'm gonna let it get some more, some more roots. That's one of my margarita hostas. And uh, <clears throat> I was trying to half it and uh, the roots were a lot deeper than I thought. <clears throat> That's a piece of a balloon flower that broke off. I'm trying to get it to root, y'all. I don't throw anything away. That's why I have so much stuff. I've had so many compliments on my painting, on my wreath. Uh, it is pretty, y'all. It really brightens the porch up. But uh, me and Brinley are going to sit on the porch a little bit. And when I got my glass of tea with my peach scrub, and when I walked out, I saw that little hosta. And I just thought I would show y'all. I have several little clips uh, that I'm going to put together <clears throat> for y'all. And this video will be in one of those clips. 
So we're going to sit here and watch birds uh, and enjoy my glass of tea while Brinley, she's exploring out in the yard. So this will this will give her a little break and I can go back in the house and uh, finish my doings, as Daddy used to say. I have a Parmesan chicken bacon in the oven. And I'm making y'all a video on how to do that, y'all. Although it's very simple, but uh, it's just going to be a quick, brief video. But okay, Brinley has assumed the position in my lap, so I'm going to get off of here and uh, see if I can video the bluebirds for y'all. Hey, everybody. I did a little yard work. Less than two weeks ago, right at two weeks, and I took two cuttings off my weeping willow tree and put them in a jar of water. And y'all look at those roots. Those are almost ready to see the leaves died. Usually I cut the leaves back, but this is exactly how I've gotten all three of my weeping willows is from a cutting and I just set them I just set them in that jar right here by the carport and uh, y'all I don't remember what day I cut those trees back it couldn't have been over two weeks ago if it's been two weeks but those are already rooted and uh, I was showing y'all also about the tomato the suckers from the tomato plants they will root that quick also. And now that was a weeping willow. And I already have three, so I don't know what I'm going to do with them too. But um, actually, I didn't cut them off the tree. They broke off when I was tying the tree off so the wind wouldn't blow it over. It's getting tall enough and they're kind of flimsy, the trunk, when they're young. So you have to kind of tie them off so when the storms come through in the spring, it won't uh, push them over. And I was tying it off and those limbs broke off. So I don't know, I'll put them in a pot and see if they live. And uh, I may put them down the trail or something back in the woods, that'd be pretty. <laughs> 